Okay, uh, I got. A, I'm still getting some questions about making a rectangle in AutoCAD, so I'm going to start right from the beginning. When you open it up, uh, this usually is the screen that you're in, uh, and you would click Start Drawing here. And the one at the school is a little bit slow, just like this one I have at, here at home. I like to find uh, the center of my x, y. Now, I already have coordinates on, and it saves it in my, that I have coordinates on. If coordinates are not on, you're going to want to click those three lines in the bottom corner, and come up here and make sure that there is a check beside coordinates, and then you have your coordinates on. That's how I know where I am. Okay? Now, uh, first thing, let's type in units, because it's going to default to millimeters, <clears throat> but all the measurements we've got are in inches for this project. So I'm going to switch to inches, and I only need two decimal accuracy. Okay, now when I look, if I just move my cursor over here, I'm 1,242 inches away from here, which would be zero, zero. So I'm going to want to zoom way in. And now let's see how we are. Here is zero. Here is 10, 20, 30, which is pretty good. This is where I want to build my bridge. Now, I'm going to do one more thing that I like. You don't have to do this. If you type in grid, right now, as we saw, 10, 20, 30, uh, those grid lines are every 10 inches. I'm going to do it every 1 inch. And now they're more frequent here. So, we want to draw a rectangle. And we've got an easier way. The first one we've got to specify. We want it to start at 0, comma, 0, Enter. We got our starting point. A way quicker way, uh, if you notice, and I usually deal with points, but you don't have to deal with points. If we're going to go 26 across, if we move it so that it snaps to the horizontal, see how it turns green there? It's kind of snapped to the horizontal. And I type in 26, boom, there I go. I've got the line 26. If I snap it to the vertical, right there. And for this one I might go up just 5, because I'll show you something in a minute. 5. There we go. Now, this is where things are a bit different. Before we had to go negative 26. Now, if it, <clears throat> if it snapped to the horizontal again, we're specifying a length that we want this thing. So now it's 26. And to go back to zero at the point, we can just click on this point, and there we go. I'm going to hit escape. There's my rectangle that I've got, okay? The next thing that we did was we were going to offset this 0.25, because our pieces of wood that we're using are 0.25. I'm going to pull all these in. There we go. We've offset them. And now the last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to trim those corners. Some people did it kind of in a spiral, which is perfectly fine. I just want to see that where the piece of wood is going to go. And then I hit enter. And then I can get rid of whatever bit I don't want. I'm going to get rid of that. I'm just going to do it simple like I did it before. Oh, I got too close to that. And there we go. So that's it. It took me about, I don't know, uh, three minutes or something like that. But now, I made this one only five because what I wanted to show you was um, if we were starting to build our bridge, we might want to make a truss, and I don't know, maybe we want the center point of this line. So we know it's 26 long, 
And one way that we can check that, if we use this dimension tool, we can figure out that this, we can pull it up, is 26. So we, we can put our dimensions right on there. We know we're in inches. We've already set that up. Um, so half of 26 is 13. So maybe I might set up a new line, and I want it to be from 0, 0 over 13 up 5. So I might type in 13, comma, 5. And now I'm starting right at the center there. So I could bring that right to the corner if I want to here. Um, and then I'll escape. And then maybe I want to set up another line coming from the this way down to this corner. And I want it to start at the same spot. So 13, comma, 5. And I'm going to go to this corner here. Okay, escape. Now I can come up here and offset both of these. So we're still going to do a 0.25, yep. Got that coming like that. This one coming like this. And I'm not saying that this is how we want to set up our bridge. Obviously, if we've looked into how to a truss should be, uh, we don't really want it to go to a point up at the top, but maybe this could be even the bottom, how we would set up our uh, side supports uh, along the bottom, and this is the bed of the, uh, of the bridge. And then what we would want to do is use our trim tool to go around and clean up all these little things so we know exactly where we want to put uh, our pieces of wood. So anyways, I hope that helps. Uh, I mainly wanted to show how we could set up the rectangle. And then we can submit this on our Google Classroom. And once we've got that approved, we can go ahead and start building the uh, building our um, bridge right there. All right, I hope this helps.